I'm going to show you how to use your iPad. I have a few things I'm going to cover today. One, how to use the sleep and wake button. Two, the home button. Three, the volume buttons and the side switch. And the last, the micro SIM card tray if you happen to have a 3G or 4G model. So to get started, the sleep and wake button on an iPad is located right here in the top right hand corner. This will actually lock and unlock the iPad. So if I push it, you can hear a little button actually get depressed and the screen turns on. If I push it again, it goes off. If I push it, on, off. The uh, next button I'm going to show you is the home button. The home button will also turn the iPad on and off and a few other things I'm going to show you how they're used. The home button is on the bottom of the iPad. It's a circle button with a square in it. If I push it, it turns the iPad on. And if I push it again, it, with a double tap, it shows the on-screen controls for the volume and to play music if you happen to have any music. There's another icon here that I'll cover later. We'll talk about that later. So, as you can see on the screen, it says slide to unlock. If I slide this to unlock, I'm taken to the home screen where all the icons are displayed. The home button, if I'm on a different screen, will take me back to my home screen by pushing it one time. The multitask bar is accessed by double tapping the home button while the screen is on. And it shows me all of my previous apps that I've run on this iPad. Now the multitask bar also has another option. If I slide this bar to the right, I can see I have more controls. This is the audio playback controls and also the screen brightness. If I zoom in a little closer here, you can see this is the screen brightness control. And over here is where I can turn the volume up and down, as well as controls to play music if I have any music on here. If I want to access my music and choose a file to play, I just tap the music icon. And tapping the home button takes me back to the normal home screen and removes the multitask bar. The other option I can do is the volume button. The volume buttons are on the side. If you can see over here on the side, there's a toggle button up and down, and then a switch that we can slide up and down. We'll talk about the side switch in a minute. The volume buttons are to increase and decrease the volume. And it happens to be on the same side as the switch the sleep and wake button switch. Here's my little side button switch and the volume buttons right here up and down. So if I push the volume button up, I can see my volume going up. As I push the volume button down, you can see the volume goes down. That's the volume button. And again, I showed you how you could also use the volume button through the audio playback controls. Remember, double tap the home, Slide the multitask bar over, and you can adjust the volume right here. And tap the home again, takes you to your home screen. Okay, um, the home button. As long as we're on it, let's do one more thing with the home button. Remember I was on a different screen? If I tap the home button once, it takes me back to my home screen. If I tap it again, it takes me to the search screen. Let's say I have a lot of applications installed on this iPad and I need to find the application that I want to use. Let's say it's Dropbox. So I type in DRO and it will show Dropbox in the list. There's Dropbox. All I need to do is tap on that and it will open up the Dropbox app. That's how we can use the search. To go back, all we have to do is hit the home button again, 
and it takes us back to the home screen. Now, the side, the side switch on the side, right here above the volume button, is used to mute any kind of sound effects or alerts. So if I just slide it on, you can see there's a little red indicator behind that switch that shows that it's turned on. And then I turn it off. The little indicator, red indicator, is covered up. So right now it's covered up, it's not on. So if I slide the switch, you can see that the display shows no sound will be played because I'm using the slide switch as a mute notifications, alerts, and sound effects. If I want to use this as a lock screen rotation, I'm going to need to go into system preferences or settings in order to make that change. Here's my settings icon on my home screen. If I tap that, I go into general, and there I can see the lock rotation at the bottom. It says use side switch right here under general for lock rotation or mute. Right now I have it on mute as I just displayed. We're going to change that to lock rotation. So now if I go to the home screen by tapping the home button, lock rotation will lock the screen from rotating. This is the example of what rotation does. And there it rotates. So if I put it in portrait mode, it rotates. Put it in landscape mode, it rotates. Now my switch is set to off. If I turn it on, you can see the little red indicator. You can see here when I switch it to on, it's going to lock it. So now when I turn my screen, it won't allow it to turn. If I move the little switch, like I'm going to do right now, it unlocks it and allows the screen to rotate. So if I want to lock the screen in this portrait, lens, portrait mode, I lock it, and then I turn it like this, and it will not allow the screen to turn. This is a good feature to use in case you're watching movies or doing other work on the iPad, where if you accidentally do flip it or turn it, you don't want it to automatically change the rotation of your screen. The next item I want to show you, which I can't on this iPad, is your micro SIM card tray. Typically, it is on the side for 3G and 4G models. And this one doesn't have it, but this is where it would typically be. And the last thing I want to point out to you that you probably have already seen is the camera. There's two cameras on iPad 2s, iPad minis, and iPad 4th generation and 3rd generations. Right here is the lock button that we talked about. This is the sleep and wake button, the lock button, and the volume button. So you notice right underneath the sleep and wake button you see the camera. This is the back camera. It is usually higher resolution for taking photos or videos. Now on the front of the iPad, if you look in the glare of the light, you can see right here by my finger, there's the front camera. This is usually a lower resolution for doing FaceTime or other types of video conferencing like Skype. I hope this was a use to you. If you have any questions, please do ask.